What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Wednesday, so it must be Grab 5 time. Um, if you're new to my channel, Grab 5 is where you grab five things from your stash and you try and use them in a layout. You must use all five somewhere on the layout. Um, so I love Grab 5. It's my favorite time of the week. I'm thinking of making Wednesdays an ongoing Grab 5, so it'll either be Project Life or um, a layout or I might even slip in some mixed media-y stuff in there as well so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to make Wednesday Grab 5 a regular thing so today I'm using the Shine uh, paper pad 12 by 12 by Crate Paper those little stickers in the next thing are some weird postage stamp sticker thing that I got off eBay I think about six or seven years ago they are adorable but I've never used them they're foreign I don't know where from I've got the L Studio Sienna stickers which are half used I've got those wood veneer pieces that I used in my last grab five I think from Pink Paisley and I have some L Studio little cut aparts that are all food related so I'm actually doing this is a bit of a bonus I'm doing a multiple photo layout today oh haven't seen one of these from me in forever probably ever no, I'm sure I've done, no, I have done some before. But what I'm doing is I've got two three by four photos that I'm just making a fraction smaller and a four by six. And these are pictures of some meatballs. Yep, I'm scrapping some balls today. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just joining them all together like a big photo collage because I'm only dealing with an eight and a half by 11 layout and there's not a whole lot of room for photos so there's not a great deal of options especially when my photos are this big so I've got a photo of the table and then my dad and then the balls and they are so delicious they're chicken chicken parmesan herby garlicky meatballs in a tomato sauce and all oh, they're good um, and it's my favorite all-time meal so I had to scrap it because that might change over the time. Um, I've only recently just learnt how to cook it myself. <laughs> Such an only child. Um, so now I can make my own balls. Yay! So I'm just going through the shine paper pad and I tried to use some papers that I wouldn't usually use. So this yellow, if you know me, you know yellow is not one of my colours. It's not my usual thing. But because these balls, I'm going to say balls as much as I can in this layout, by the way, um, because these balls are cheesy, they're a bit yellow. So I thought a hint of that yellow might be nice. So the layering for this photo mat, I guess you could call it, is just all the same size. Sorry, my voice just went a bit manly then. Um, it's all the same size. So no difficult layering in this one this is something that you could easily replicate um, and I think it's a great idea to use multiple photos on the layout I just never think of it or if I do I like both of the photos and I want to make both of the photos pretty so I know a lot of people do scrap multiple photo layouts and I love looking at them um, or even two page spreads with all the same event but I just never seem to think of it it's just not what I'm used to but I do want to do some more of it so I'm using some double-sided sticky tape <laughs> tiki tape <laughs> some double-sided sticky tape to um, glue down that little good eats but I did put a little fake staple in there because I couldn't staple obviously the tiny attacher arm of my stapler isn't that long now I did want to use up as many of these L studio cutter parts as I could because I don't scrap a lot of food related layouts um, I've been watching um, Sarah Swan on YouTube and I've been watching her foodie layouts for a long time and I freaking love them hi Sarah if you're watching I love your I love your layouts I just I don't know your voice is just really calming and I love listening to it so um, I've been inspired to do some foodie layouts because our food does change over time um, this meal hasn't changed <laughs> I must say since I was about 15 um, but you know our favorite foods do change or our favorite restaurants so it'd be nice to capture some of those memories instead of just nice pretty pictures of people's faces or fluffy bunny butts um, because you know there's more to life than a fluffy bunny butt I'm sure you would agree or not Maybe there's not more to life than a fluffy bunny, but I don't know. I'm going on tangents. So I'm just using my circle punch here to punch out some uh, paper from that 
paper pad and also from my stash I do believe like that lemon paper I'm not going to use lemons I don't I don't have any need to scrap lemons um, so it's good in a layout like this you can't really tell that they're lemons they just look like yellow paper and then that little ticket is from my stash and I think it says one meal admit one meal or it's something about eating so I decided to go for two clusters one down the bottom and one up the top and let's see what's next I've put on my title I did that off camera because I did have to stick those all down one at a time and I've done my fancy scripty fonty thing down the bottom so let me know in the comments below are you a multiple photo scrapper or are you a single photo scrapper or are you a bit of both I'd be interested to find out please give me a like if you like this video um, and come along and join my Facebook group Scrapaholics Anonymous links down below if you'd like to share some of your layouts and just talk scrappy with some like-minded peeps. All right, I will see you very soon. Bye.